Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Men say they feared for their lives when a motorist shot at them after they cut the driver off. The road rage shooting happened on Interstate 285 near Washington Road. As Fox 5's Angelique Proctor tells us now, East Point police charged people in both cars with firing their weapons. East Point police say you should never pull out a gun to resolve a traffic dispute. But that is exactly what happened over the weekend involving people in two different cars that were traveling on Interstate 285. There's like six bullet holes in my car. I was scared. I honestly thought I was gonna die. Passenger Jeremiah Bates and driver Amari Janu say they feared for their lives when they cut off another driver while driving northbound on Interstate 285 near Washington Road this past Saturday. He flashed his gun at us and a passenger that was in the back seat said he got his gun pointed at us so when the lanes opened up I just sped off. I told him to speed up and keep going. He's still on us, still on us, still following us. Then that's when we heard the first gunshot. It went through the back window of where the female passenger was sitting. Jeremiah showed us pictures of that injury. EMS treated him on the scene and he was then transferred to the hospital. But according to the police report, the other driver who told them he was a retired Atlanta police officer has a different story. He indicated the young men pursued him and pulled out a gun threatening him. Jeremiah insists he only shot in self-defense. It hit me in the back of the head. I know something hot hit me in the back of the head. So then I ducked down and then that's when I grabbed my gun and started returning fire. Both drivers pulled over at the BP gas station on Cascade Road and East Point police started sorting things out. They decided to charge both Bates and the retired cop with firing a weapon in a public place. Amari and Jeremiah say this was a close call. They both tell me they are grateful they survived the violence. In Atlanta, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.